Hello you guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 7. I put up a poll on Instagram and on Twitter today if you guys wanted my full face updated makeup tutorial, a fashion try on and haul, or a vlog Gymshark try on and haul. They were all actually pretty close, but makeup was the one that won. I will say that all of the videos will end up going up at some point, it was just a matter of which one to put up today. If you guys are excited to be seeing the updated makeup tutorial, show your support, Hit the like button. Let's try and get it to 3,000 likes if we can. I don't actually know that that's possible, but if we can do it, let's do it. I wanna make it clear that this routine does involve a little bit more makeup than the last time. If anything, it's actually just a matter of like a medium to full coverage foundation as opposed to a CC cream like I was using before. I don't do this every day, but on the days that I'm going out or I'm like feeling myself and I wanna really kinda do myself up, this is the look that I always go to. So without further ado, let's jump right into the makeup tutorial. Three of my essentials before I even start makeup application is some tweezers just to clean up any hairs that I may have underneath my brows. And then I use this First Aid Beauty Fab Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm. Honestly, you could just use whatever lip balm you like, but I just like to get this on beforehand because I normally use a matte lip cream, so I like to moisturize and let it settle in a bit while I'm doing my makeup. And then lastly, depending on the season, my under eyes will get super Super duper dry and actually I could feel it yeah they're pretty dry right now what happens is once I put the concealer on it looks all dry and cracked underneath my eyes and I'm not a fan of that I actually just use some I think it's like hydrocortisone but like a gel and it's for underneath your eyes and it helps with like any itchiness and moisturization I just use a tiny little bit underneath my eyes and it usually helps the problem I should also mention that I did already moisturize my face, so now that my face is fully primed, lips are done, eyebrows are taken care of, I'm going to move on to my foundation. My favorite current medium to full coverage foundation has been the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. I found this because when I went to Sephora, the girl that was helping me had just really pretty coverage and I was like, what are you wearing? And it was this bad boy. I use this in the shade Light Beige. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this to my damp beauty blender. For those of you that have seen my first makeup tutorial, you know that that you are supposed to actually dampen your beauty blender and you're also supposed to clean it. I'm just going to do about two pumps on my hand. Normally foundation should be a little warmed up, not in a microwave or anything, but just on your hand because the warmth from your hand is actually more than enough to warm it up and cause a more natural application for your face. Just that much. And then I do my little, my little markings all over my face. Little pro tip, never gob foundation all over your eyes because at the end of the day, you are gonna most likely be using a concealer. I like to use whatever excess is left on the little beauty blender. That way it's not too much makeup around your eyes. You wanna make it look as natural as possible. Moving on to my favorite concealer, I've been using the Naked Skin Urban Decay and this is in Light Neutral. Since I use this as a highlighter, I do markings underneath my eye. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, that, okay. I do markings underneath my eyes, down my nose, right above my cupid's bow, underneath my chin, and just a bit on my forehead. I do this for the sake of the light reflecting on my skin, making me look all radiant and shit. Also, being that I come from a family that is like, we just genetically have dark under eyes, this camera is not really picking it up because the settings are so bright, but um, I do kind of go ham on the concealer. And again, I'm using it as a highlighter. <laughs> I look ridiculous right now. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, start with my eyes first, and then make my way down the T-zone. And with this, you do not want to smear, you want to tap it. This will make sure that you don't basically wipe away all of the concealer and again, cause a very natural effect, a kind of like airbrushed look. is a product I have not introduced before and this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and it's basically a translucent powder with a tiny bit of shimmer so it does have a highlighting effect. I do not use this all over my face. I believe this product is actually only meant for underneath your eyes anyway. So I use this underneath my eyes and in all of the areas that I applied concealer just to set it all rather than using my medium coverage powder that I use to set the rest of my face. So I just use a little fan brush and I go for it. Because I like a very matte finish on my face, I use the Kat Von D 
Lock It Powder Foundation, and this is in medium 57, and I also use, a, I, I think it's just the Kat Von D brush, and it's in 20, and I believe it's a synthetic brush. And then I also like to bring it down my neck a little bit, just to, I don't know, try and get everything all balanced. Face is done, at least as far as coverage goes, so I'm going to go ahead and go off camera for my eyeliner and mascara, but I will tell you guys the products I use. So for my eyeliner, I use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I still get a lot of questions on how I do my eyeliner or if I can do some sort of eyeliner tutorial, and I've already done this. I will link it up here and also in the description box if you guys are interested in seeing that um, because it is a very, you know, I have my explanation for all of it. As far as mascara goes, I use the Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler and then for mascara I use the Sills Booster XL by Lancome as my primer so that is what I use for my eyes. Eyeliner is done. I'm going to quickly mention that my eyeliner looks a lot different. <laughs> I'm now realizing from the first time I did an eyeliner tutorial, but I guarantee it's pretty much the same method. All I'm doing is making the wing a lot thicker and like extending it out more. I don't know if that makes any sense, but really like I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just making it thicker. That's it. Now we're going to move on to bronzer, blush, and highlighter. For years now, I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's shattered, <laughs> but I refuse to let it all go to waste because it is still perfectly good product. Instead of swirling it around, I just... I just tap it and so for the brush I don't know if I had this last time but this is the NARS something kabuki brush it's been around for a long time and I've wanted it for so long and I finally got it so I like to use this for contouring and bronzing it is absolutely incredible it really really lets you chisel those cheekbones For the blush, I am still using the same blush I've had for years. In fact, I mean, by years, I mean like maybe, maybe two years. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. The lid is broken. This is what it looks like. So pretty, so warm, so minerally. And I just use a Real Technique blush brush and I just pat that on my cheeks. for the highlight. I use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop and it looks like heaven before us. This is what it looks like. The brush that I'm using is the Sephora Featherweight Blending Brush and I really like it because it's nice and narrow and you can really just focus it on one area and uh, it's not dense at all so it's like really easy to kind of just like do your thing. I tap on a lot but then I pat off to get a lot of the excess. That way it's just all kind of packed into the brush. Oh, it's not focusing for you guys, but that is the idea. And then I sweep this on my cheekbones. Oh my God, do you see that? Oh Lord, Woo! And then right above my eyebrows, a little underneath my eyebrows. Oh, Mama Sita! I hope that you guys can see this as much as I can see it, because that looks like heaven. And then I repeat that process on this side. And then the very last step to all of this is my lip color, and this seems to be like my go-to when I do my full face. So this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 13. Guys, I've tried so many types of matte lip creams, this one costs like 14 bucks, and it is by far the best matte lip cream I've ever used. It does not stain anything. Sometimes it'll like kind of dry up in here, but it's just up to you to wipe that up with like a paper towel or something. I'm gonna apply this off camera too because like I have to be like all close to the mirror so that I can get it all straight. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. All right guys, that is it for my full face makeup tutorial for the days that I decide to really pack it on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like the video. I will be sure to list all of the products down in the description box for you guys as well, just in case you want any of the things or you forget any of it. It'll all be down there in order in the way that it was put on my face. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will be seeing you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow.